Hey everyone, it's me and Katie Beth again. And today we have a special guest today. It's my good friend, John VW, and he has a cool game segment to play with us today. I'm gonna turn it over to him so we can get started with that. And to you, John. Hey, Katie Beth. Hi to all your viewers out there. I have uh, something kind of special I wanted to share with your viewers today. Uh, and that is this game that I've always wanted to play. It's called Real, R-E-E-L, or Real, R-E-A-L. And what we do is we take a look at a movie that's supposedly based on a true story. And we take a look at some aspects of that movie, a couple scenes, and we decide, is that real, as in, did it really happen? Or is it real, as in, made for the big screen, a dramatization? So... The first movie that I wanted to take a look at was Saving Mr. Banks. I know a lot of your viewers are big Disney fans, as am I, and I was actually working at the company when uh, they were filming this movie, so it's kind of neat to see it on the big screen. So let's take a look at Saving Mr. Banks. Saving Mr. Banks tells the story of how Walt Disney took the Mary Poppins character from P.L. Travers and turned it into the iconic movie that we all know that it is. Now, this wasn't an easy journey. There were a lot of crazy moments. And for the most part, the movie gets it right. But there are a couple scenes that you gotta wonder, did they really happen? Or was that made up for the movie? So let's take a look at a couple of those scenes. In one scene in the movie, P.L. Travers is taken on a trip to Disneyland by none other than Walt Disney himself. Hey, who wouldn't like Walt Disney as their own Disney tour guide? I know I would. This is a pretty pivotal moment in the movie because she finally gets to see how other people see Walt Disney and his creation. We see them take a trip up Main Street and ultimately take a ride on the King Arthur carousel. So the question is, was this real? Did it really happen? Or was it real, as in made up for the movie? So what do you think it is? So this, unfortunately, was made up for the movie. As far as we know, it never really happened. Now. It is somewhat reminiscent of actual happenings because Walt Disney was known to take special guests and dignitaries to Disneyland Park to show off the park to his friends. So while this could have happened and did happen with other people, as far as we know, it never happened with Mrs. Travers. Now, there's a scene in the movie where P.L. Travers comes into Walt Disney's office and interrupts him as he is seen putting out a cigarette. Now, he makes a mention that he doesn't like people seeing him smoking. So the question is, is that real? Did it really happen? Or is it real made up for the movie? Well, the answer is, it's probably real. Walt Disney, as we know, was a chronic smoker. It was lung cancer that took his life in 1966. But he wasn't really a fan of people seeing him smoke. He wanted to set a good example to children and he knew and openly expressed that smoking was a nasty habit. Now in one pivotal scene in the movie, Walt Disney overhears the song Feed the Birds being played by Richard Sherman on the piano. He walks in, stands quietly by, listens to him sing the entire thing, and at the end of it says a famous line, that'll work. Question is, is this real? As in, did it actually happen? Or was it made up for the movie? What do you think? Well, this actually happened. This is real. The scene, as we see on the big screen, is pretty close to the way that it happened in real life. Richard Sherman tells a story of how he was playing Feed the Birds while Disney came in, heard it, and with a very brief approval, just said, that'll work. Well, as it turns out, that became Walt Disney's favorite song. Whenever he was in a bad mood, whenever he was just going through a rough time, he would call the Sherman brothers in their office, have them run down to the piano in his office, and he would just say, play it. Richard Sherman knew exactly what that meant. He would sit down and he would play Feed the Birds. So, how did you guys do? Did you get all of them correctly? Or did one or two of them maybe stump you a little bit? You know, the funny thing about putting a movie on the big screen from real life is that you only have about two hours and sometimes less to tell a whole story. So sometimes you got to take some dramatic license there. Well, if you like what you saw, 
Uh, be sure to leave a comment, let Katie Beth know, and with any luck, you'll see another segment of Real or Real coming very soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, John. That was a really cool segment you just had. I can tell you really did a lot of research in that. Really cool. Really appreciate that. And a big thanks to all of you out there who are watching. If you have any questions, ask John about this segment, real or real. Or if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see him dive into, feel free to comment that below, just like he said. And I will pass those on to him. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I enjoy having you here with if me. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And hit that little bell so you can get alerts when new videos come out. For the most part, our schedule is on Sundays, we have Adventure Sundays. On Tuesdays, random videos. I call it Random Roulette Tuesdays with Katie Beth, because you never know what you're going to get. On Wednesdays, we have Handcraft, Hand Sewn Hump Days. And on Fridays, we have Good Old Review Fridays. A lot of unboxings happen then, too. Well, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.